Fashion Week on The Real. That's and right. joining us today is a singer, songwriter, model, and actress. Everyone give it up for our girl, Tierra Marie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Tierra. Yes, thanks How for having you? me. Good. Oh, I'm so happy, happy to be here. I watch it every day. Do you really? Yes, I do Aww. really. I do so really. Nice. Well, are you ready to keep it 100% real? All the way, honey. All right. <laughs> well, let's get into some girls. I don't know how to do it any other way. I don't know how to do it any other okay. way. Wait, 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 ladies. Before we spill the tea, we gotta check this out because one of the craziest tea trends has made its way from Asia, my people's land, onto the girl chat table. This here is called cheese tea. Oh, yes, tea. it's actually made with real tea, you guys. It's cold tea topped with fluffy flavored whipped cheese, sometimes grated, and people cannot stop talking about this. The first time I actually had this was the first time it was introduced to the world in Singapore, where like a lot of food crazes take place. And yes. yo, it's so good, the fact that it's here in LA is so yummy, delicious. Are you ready this to try crazy. it? crazy, so but I feel I'm like nervous. it's tastes really good. Ooh, okay. okay, so the thing is, Wait, okay, so, so the best way to do it is pop first the top, because yeah. oh. you want oh, to oh, it. it wrong. Don't do it with okay. the straw. I just, <laughs> no, take it out, take it out. Take Wait, it out. take the straw out. Yes, because you want to try it like this, because yeah. you want the cheese to hit your tongue first, okay. and then the tea, because it's going to taste like frosting on top of a Wait, cinnamon. Wait, so do we all okay, have different flavors? Okay. Is like, is like like just cream taste cheese? Let's taste it, let's just taste it. Cheers for the real. Cheers, cheers. I actually like it. I do. You never thought this would taste like this. Ain't no liquor in it's it. Like, what? It's like more like a cream cheese. Yeah, oh it's more like, like a cream, cream cheese. cheese. It's like a, like a uh, cupcake with cream cheese and I frosted. Would spill it on me. Okay. If, and I like, like cheese, <laughs> like blue cheese. If anybody likes savory, like a little bit savory and sweet, like. Uh, sweet and salt caramel, sea yes. salt, chocolate. It's so bomb. Oh my God, it's so good. This my people is make like I have foods. Oreos in mine. Oh, crap. All right. I am lactose intolerant, so I apologize. Oh my now. God, will you guys shut up and enjoy the tea? Uh -oh. Okay, and I said, we're trying to bring, we're well, trying to bring thanks, a little Jenny. bit of my culture to you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> now that we have our tea, let's spill some. So, here. I heard that you and Aid actually knew each other way back yes. when. Yes, back in the day. We go <laughs> way back. When I said, when she asked, is she going to keep it real? I'm like, you don't understand, like, Tiara's one of the realest people you will yes, ever meet yes, in life. Yes, I love Adrienne. We met years ago. We're talking, When like, she was in 3LW. Oh, wow. 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 Yes. You were in our video with yes. Jermaine Dupree. What was it called? Um, Feeling You. Feeling You, yes. This is actually my 20... Oh, yeah, there I go. <laughs> 29th oh, oh, birthday. Oh, I'm old, oh, people. Gosh. This is my 29th birthday. Oh, oh that wow. is so funny. I'll just Look at you. see these pictures, you realize how oh, thin you were then. It's, oh, wow. Stop it. I know, it's right? Stop exactly. It. exactly. But we go it. way back. We used to party together, have fun together. Yes. And, and pre marriage day. Yes, yes. <laughs> Je she has pre Jesus genie. We have pre married Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> it was, it was. I have we to did. admit, some crazy nights and. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking. Yes. You guys had fun. And then. Yeah, yeah. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Speaking of old memories, according to E! News, Kourtney Kardashian's ex, Scott Disick, is currently on a romantic vacation with Sophia Ritchie at Casa Aramara mm -hmm. in Mexico. The only problem, it's reportedly where Scott and Kourtney first met. Sources say, I know, Sor sources say Courtney is heartbroken because she feels like that was their special place mm. and that it's a sign that Scott has really moved on. Did However, many feel like Scott might just be playing games to get in Courtney's head. What do you ladies think? Yeah, but what if he gets a discount there or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good True. point. With that being said, I have a hard time believing this because Courtney chose not to be with Scott. Therefore, I'm right. sure she's moved she's on. Moved on. Yeah. She has a so fine that, But if if she chose that, then he's doing this to spite her because all and the other she doesn't to go. care or she should. But not care. only that, she can we care. talk about the fact that the other girl? Yeah. she shouldn't even want to go there. That's what I was. That's thinking. a I wouldn't want to go. Like, yeah, no, that's that's symbolic of your ex. Yeah, I'd be like, nah, don't take me to the same spot. I don't this is like a serious relationship because the first thing I think of is Sophia because Scott has been on their 10th year anniversary yeah. show saying that he tries to 
Courtney like every week, yeah. and now he takes her to the place where they where they met. What kind of messages are you sending, and why is Sophia still with him? Yeah, but you know she's nineteen. Yeah, that's that's why. She's nineteen. That's what yeah, she's nineteen. Think about that for a second. She's nineteen years old, and if somebody has a dope setup at one particular place where you get all inclusive, everything, helicopter rides, I don't know, no. No. you're nineteen. Don't sit here and tell me you're gonna be like, no, no. I'm gonna pass. Boo. I value myself more she, than that. I don't she's care. Nineteen and rich. Honey. 19 <laughs> and she could take herself right. anywhere she wants yeah. to go. Yeah, but it's just, I don't know. Sometimes I think we get to, we get into our feelings too much about the first time you were here or the first time. The I place agree. exists. It's a landmark. I agree. You can't not go to Hawaii because your ex was there before. I know, but I would be fine if he wasn't on the 10th anniversary Kardashian show saying he wants to try to court me every week. You keep if you saying say that, that one more time. time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if he wants to get with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There right? we go. But all that to say, I feel like we have a really difficult time in this day and age where we don't realize that the opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love is uh -oh. indifference, which means you don't care. You, let me tell you, when you don't want to be with somebody, you'd be like, take her to the first spot that we went to, the second spot, the third spot. Take her to every place we ever made love. I, I'm actually glad she's there making love to you, and I'm not. You don't care. With that being said, oh, I'm taking my new man to all the spots. So if I like a spot, we going. Especially if you were the OG person to go to that exactly. spot. Exactly. And I hope you marked your spot. Thank Courtney, I hope that you are planning to stay there next with your new beau, who's very handsome. I, They're having a great time. Why can't Courtney and her man go there next? Yeah. Um, I just think spot. Lionel it's Richie good. need to talk to his daughter. Exactly. <laughs> and tell her. To go dance on the ceiling with somebody else. That's or what maybe I think. she doesn't That's care. Serious. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it's not that serious. Maybe, maybe none she of them sees this as a casual thing, and they just yes. they just don't care. I think Lionel need to tell Sophia. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I said something. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, Courtney has <laughs> moved on. Thank you, Jeannie. Courtney right now is in France. She's in Paris with her new guy, I believe. So she should just be enjoying that. She should not care. No, it, 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 it'll get to you. I don't care. She would have had three yeah. kids by him. It gets him. to you when you still care. It, yep. Yeah. I'm and you done had three kids. You go care a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but people really we don't gonna move on from keeping the peace to starting the beef. Sixty. Eight-year-old former boxer George Foreman made headlines this week after he challenged 65-year-old movie star Steven Seagal, Seagal to pay oh. to a pay-per-view. I can't read <laughs> pay-per-view fight on Twitter. Right now, Foreman tweeted, "Quote." Steven S S Seagal. <laughs> this is why I you needed liquor him, in this. You I wanted Steven, Steven, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal, I challenge you one-on-one. -on -one. I use boxing. You use whatever 10 rounds in Vegas. No Ooh. weapons, hand-to-hand -hand only. Now, many people believe Foreman's reason for wanting to fight Seagal <laughs> may stem from the negative comments Seagal made about NFL players protesting during the national anthem. Everyone is now waiting on Steven Seagal's response. So, women, I mean, do you think throwing hands is the best way to settle a beef? Start with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Sierra. <laughs> that's a con. I've been through some things now. <laughs> I don't think that that's the best way to resolve it. But if you are going to fight, get paid for it. But yes. I think these old men oh, just true. need to sit down and play chess. <laughs> yeah, they too old. They too that old. Like, true. come on. It's like, I'll, I'll, it's cringeworthy. That yes. would be funny to watch, though, honestly, to see two old Get your coin. guys. You know they got a meme it, up. Yeah, oh, they, they do. Yes, they do. What's we the have meme? it. What? It, it's, oh, God. Let's see. The oh, geezers oh, at oh Caesars. Oh, my God. I can't. <laughs> I, I, that's that's hilarious. That is hilarious. I don't crazy. even think it'll go the 10 geezers. rounds. I It'll probably just go, like, two rounds. I can't Recently, even. Recently, we were talking about, obviously, the Mayweather fight that just passed right. uh, this summer. And these guys get paid so much money. Yes. Like, low-key, would you guys just do a fight just to get paid? Like, I'd be like, yo, just knock me out in the first round, but let me collect that check. <laughs> Not with no old no, man. No, I'd be like, just let me collect the check. Knock me out. I don't oh, care. I would, say that, I would say that in the beginning. Okay. You could pay to, for like, new one. Uh, you know, let's do a check, and you knock me out in the first round. But then, as soon as somebody hits you, if anybody's ever been in a fight, Yo, instead of a, a person play fight. A swing, you get up in your feelings and you're like, oh, it's on, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, have you yes. ever been play fighting with somebody and just playing and with your hands? And they hit you the wrong way? Like, <laughs> yes. 
yeah. and they hit like, you wrong, okay. and you be like, ooh, and you really <laughs> go for that's it. That's what I'm talking about. It yeah, is impossible. And the thing about old men, old men had that old man grip. You know, you ever had an old man? Yes. <laughs> they had it because they they got years of history. What you know? What you know about this old man grip? You know, because I date old men, but they they don't hit me though. No, but they got that grip though. When they would come here, girl, I'm like, ooh, ooh, daddy. No, I would be. I would be pulling the old lady card, man. If you, if I was old and you were fighting me, I'd be like, oh, oh, hold on, my teeth, my teeth. Oh, oh. You know, I mean, like you just fake it. Oh my right? goodness, it's a good one. Right? Could you okay. fight, Tim? Actually, I can fight. I know you can. I can fight. So you don't even want to get knocked out. You're gonna really go for it. No, I, I have, have you been trained? I have. Well, this is the thing. My mom, whenever my sister and I would have a disagreement, because my mom is a huge boxing fan. Okay. She would tell us to put on the gloves. Yeah. Yes. And we would, yeah. we would fight. How'd you do? I did well. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah, but that, that's, that's a big surprise. A lot of people think like, you know, because I'm very nice, just don't push the wrong button. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Because yeah. if you do. It's always the nice yeah, ones. Yeah, it's always the nice ones. You gotta watch out. Yeah, okay. don't thinking of fighting <laughs> these other twin sisters <laughs> and WWE stars Nikki and, and Brie them. Bella recently so got into it on their reality show Total Bellas over a very sensitive issue. Now Nikki took offense after Brie revealed to her that if something were to happen to her and her husband, Nikki would not be appointed guardian of Brie's daughter Birdie. Oh. So Brie revealed the main oh, reason oh, she doesn't so want cute. her twin sister to be Birdie's guardian is because Nikki's fiance, John Cena, who we all know, yeah. doesn't want kids. He said that, he's been vocal about that. So Brie choosing instead to give guardianship to her married brother who has a baby of his own. Makes That's what she went yeah. with. So ladies, how do you think parents should decide guardianship for their kids? God forbid something happened to them. We're gonna I go know, over to the mom first. I know, yeah. I'm already feeling it. Um, I mean, it's hard. I actually see both of their sides because, you know, they're twins and, and you're usually closer to your twin than anyone else. Yeah. So I understand why her sister would feel like, uh, you know, hurt by that. Yeah. But the reality is, is you have to think of, you know, your, the person's lifestyle. Guardianship is n nothing to play with. And you have to think of their environment, their, their parenting styles. And you have to be comfortable with that. Yeah. Just because you're friends or a sister doesn't automatically give you that right. Yes. Agreed. So I agree. sometimes it just doesn't match. But I yeah. think, no. I think death changes people. And I okay. think it, unless she had a conversation with John, I think it would be fair for her to have a conversation with her sister and with John yeah. to see. Regarding you know, this. Yeah, regarding this. Because well, I think sometimes in death, you do change. When you, you know, you're like, okay, well, that's what she said. She did say, I'm okay with it if you have a conversation with John mm -hmm. and he's fine with it. Mm -hmm. Once I know that, then I'll be okay. For yeah. you. She okay. said she'll change it. Right. So, oh, that's really? That's a great way, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. Because, he, yeah, you're right, that you know he may not right now want to have his own, but in that circumstance of you know a death happening, he might have a change of if heart. It's and be one, like, oh, but if it's two, I'm like, I don't wait. I what? Know. What? Wait a no, this is true. I've actually turned down the the ask of being a godparent. Um, one of them was my very good friend Jinx Macabinta. He asked me to be their uh, his he and his wife's godparent, and I really thought about it and I prayed about it too, but it just didn't sit right with me because I as you've known through the seasons, I don't have it in my heart to be a parent yet at all. And when you are a godparent, you're not just waiting yeah. if, in case something happens. You should have an active role in that child's yes. life. Agree. Now. You know what I mean? Agree. Yeah. All the time. I should be there. Sierra, Agree. what would you do? Would you give your children, your unborn children to your sister? <laughs> if she was unfit, no, I would not. Mm -hmm. mm. It's, you know, for the best interest of the child. Mm -hmm. So no, I wouldn't. And sometimes people do it, I think, to to challenge people, you know, Jeannie, I think, you know, I think that's probably why they look at you and they mm -hmm. feel like, well, you don't have children, you know, you would be a better fit than someone that already has children and maybe it'd be more of a burden, you know, but mm -hmm. for me, if I think if it was a death, I would, you know, I would be honored and I would try to take the responsibility, but like I said, it, it gotta be one. Good I, to I can't know. Take two. <laughs> Good, Good to know. know. So. You would be great though, Lana. I for sure would give my Are unborn you? children 100%. Oh, no, I'd your give, sister's them. I you am the godmother of Jet, yeah. Okay. Um, but I for sure, if anything were to happen to my unborn children, my sister absolutely would be the one to take 
Oh, that children. would be, yeah, that would yeah. be, no, That's yeah. Me. She's I'm amazing. I'm trying to think, yeah. would I take Araya or Aiden? Because you only taking one? <laughs> yeah. I would take both You can't Absolutely, yeah, you can't separate yeah, the kids, Bonnie. Because yeah. they both know me. There's a change of heart. See this? People See? Are Get your hands up.